Good evening, everybody, from the home office of the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Hope this is coming through. We'll see how well this works. We're trying out a new program called OBS. If you haven't heard about Google Plus and their Hangout program, that has since gone by the wayside and is no longer being used anymore. So not going to be able to be using Google Hangouts to record things. So switching over to this and seeing how well it's going to work. And I have to try out some different microphones to see how well things work at this time because unfortunately this one not doing too well so I have to switch over to the headphone microphone to see what's going on across the Mid-South area. Heading into the rest of the evening hours, again, not too much to show you in the way of major problems. We had some clear skies earlier on the Baptist DeSoto camera and looking into around the rest of the evening, no hazardous weather is expected in the Mid-South, so definitely good news on that. Mississippi River is heading on its way upwards over about the next 24 to 48 hours and should crest by Friday and going into Saturday, so not looking at too much of any major problems with the river forecast level at this time. Heading into the the overnight hours, we're getting close to the area in and around uh, portions of the area where it comes to uh, overnight, so not really seeing again too much of any concern out there with clearer skies as we get closer to civil twilight out there. Beautiful sunset earlier this evening from the Cotton Exchange camera available at WREG.com slash webcams if you'd like to see and find out more there. View from the Baptist DeSoto cameras we started off with earlier showing a great view there and twilight at Memphis International Airport going very nice, very clear conditions out across much of the area. Power Center Academy on Winchester down into South Central Memphis looking very good at this time and also seeing a few golfers out earlier this evening at sunset in and around the area of Windyke Country Club. If you'd like to see any of the weather bug cameras, go to WREG.com slash webcams for more. Great sunset shot tonight from the weather underground camera of Rhodes College in Memphis, back up to around the Northern Parkway area from Jet Jock's 3315 picture on the Instacam area from the weather underground, showing again very good conditions out there. Temperature a little bit on the warm side earlier this evening. Not much going on in the Mid-South over the course of the last couple of days, we are seeing again some very quiet conditions out there and not much expected to be causing any major problems either. High pressure is well in control over much of the Mid-South area. Things are very quiet and will continue to be so throughout the rest of the afternoon and evening hours, so not a lot is happening here. Clear skies with a few clouds drifting in towards sunset from up to the northwest of us, and not really that much going on into the rest of the evening from what it looks like. Transition into the seven-day forecast will be showing again numbers back into the mid-90s. That is way above where where we should be for this time of the year. Lower to mid 80s is pretty typical for this time of the year. Fall begins to the day after tomorrow. As we head toward Thursday, we'll be looking at numbers back in the mid 90s. That's the official first day of fall. First full day of fall will be Friday. Temperatures in the lower 90s, staying in the lower 90s throughout the rest of the weekend, and then getting into the mid upper 80s with a chance of showers and thunderstorms popping back into the forecast as we go toward next Tuesday or so. We'll be watching that again with a lot of interest out there. Carl, a tropical storm and beyond that we've got what could become a tropical storm mat forming into areas of the mid-Atlantic. We'll be watching that again uh, with a lot of interest but as of right now things are decently quiet on the east coast. What's left of Julia is basically a mess of collection of showers, thunderstorms, and clouds into the East Coast states, but really not much more than that at this time. Carl continues to be offshore of the Lesser Antilles, making its way to the west, expected to make a pretty sharp northerly turn and could be a problem out there into around the area for Bermuda sometime in the next couple of days. Lisa, beyond that, we're seeing again the new tropical storm developing there. Beyond that, out into around the area of Africa, a new area could be a bit of a problem into the next couple of days. Again, we may be looking at Tropical Storm Matt before too long in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. We'll keep you up to date on that in the next few days. Moon phase, 76.3 of full and waning into the gibbous phase. It's a very nice view out there for tonight, so hopefully you have a chance to go out there and take a look around at what may be coming your direction out there. And for sunlight, again, not doing too bad. Daylight from earlier today, about 12 hours and 12 minutes of sunlight today. And we'll be dropping into the next couple of days as we pass the equinox phase out across the Mid-South. 
There's the camera switch. I need to remember what that thing is. If you've got any questions about what's going on with the weather, you can use Facebook Messenger if you want to, but may not work too well. I'll warn you on that right now. So the best way to get a hold of me would be email address at the bottom of your screen, austin.onic at wreg.com to get in contact with me. Questions, concerns, ideas, what you would like to see featured on here. This is brand new, again, with this OBS studio that we're using uh, to do these Hangouts for right now. So good opportunity for you to say what you would like to see in here. We'll try to post it up here for you when we're doing this from home and give you more ideas to what's going on with the weather. We'll have another one of these updates coming up bright and early tomorrow morning. So definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. And again, contact me with information about whatever you'd like to see on here at austin.onic at wreg.com. Jim Jaggers is doing Go Jim Go, and even though he's got a little bit of an injury. Tim Simpson will be on tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. And also don't forget about Todd Demers coming up bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. If you'd like to see more about what the weather forecast is doing for peak of the week Wednesday, another hot one, so remember to dress cool. That's a look at your complete forecast on the News Channel 3 exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining me here online, and stay tuned to News Channel 3 online and on air for the latest weather information.